Mayor Lori Lightfoot is betting on a casino for the city of Chicago by 2025. There are three finalists right now on the table. As part of our Chicago Tonight in Your Neighborhood series, report, reporter Joanna Hernandez and producer Acacia Hernandez visited the three communities where the sites have been proposed to hear how residents and business owners feel about the potential new addition to their neighborhoods. And Joanna joins us now from River West to tell us about the first site we'll feature tonight. Joanna. Hello, Paris. Well, that's right. Well, first I want to show you I'm right along Erie Street, right next to the Chicago Tribune printing plant. Take a look at that. That is where Bally's has proposed to build a casino and resort. The $1.7 billion proposal is set to include 500 hotel rooms, a theater, a sports museum, and a pedestrian extension of the Riverwalk, among other things. Here is some drone footage of the space Bally's is buying if they get chosen. It means Bally's would be taking over a portion of the Tribune publishing plant. We spoke with the president of the River North Residents Association, Brian Israel about the potential of a casino being built in his community's backyard. Listen what he had to say. So Bally's, the average population of the 13 towns where they have casinos in the country is 110,000 people. They have never done a project anywhere close to this scope or scale. This is going to take years to complete, so the price tag will probably go up. That's going to mean they take on additional debt or have to raise additional capital. They don't have the experience. The financing plan is a little questionable, so we wonder what if this project fails? And if it fails, what happens to the neighborhood? Israel says they serve about 27,000 residents in the community, and according to a survey they've been conducting, about 80% of residents are against the Bally's project. Concerns are on traffic and the impact it will have on businesses in the area. He even questioned if there is going to be enough infrastructure to support that kind of density. We share the goals of uh, revenue generation, and we think that um, we definitely should have increased tourism and increased commerce. We think that's all good. We want to create jobs. We want to have economic growth and development and infrastructure improvements. But casinos tend to be regressive in their economic impact. In other words, the effect on lower income people is much worse than the effect on higher income people. We spoke to other locals who raised concerns about the effects the casino would have in a residential neighborhood. According to Bally's renderings, there are plans to build a pedestrian bridge connecting the casino to West Erie Street, something people in the area aren't happy about. I don't like all the activity it brings. It's a nice neighborhood, so I'm not crazy about it. I don't like taking advantage of people who have gambling issues. And I, it just doesn't make sense to me. And Bally's is also committing to bringing together an association made up of minority design and construction firms to work on this project. Now, up next, we break down what Hard Rock is proposing near Soldier Field. But first, I send it back to you. All right, Joanne, thanks very much.